Welcome back to my channel and to my kitchen. How to cook with another requested recipe. Jackass can dunk can make it in fast season simple and we'll get right into it. In other container there I have some all purpose flour. You can substitute it but do not use self-rising flour. Also I have here some coconut flakes. This is unsweetened but you can use sweetened if you like. There is absolutely two ways that I make a jackass can but I'm going to show you this one if you want me to show you how I make it otherwise just let me know down below now here I have some brown sugar some salt for sure for flavor a little bit of nutmeg and some baking powder you need some baking powder do not use baking soda and we are going to add some ginger powder to it and you can add fresh ginger and here I have some coconut milk but you could also use milk any kind of milk but do not do not use water for this recipe now let's get right into it it's gonna be fast it's gonna be easy and it's gonna be simple now also goody all the amount for this recipe will be listed down in the description box so make sure that you go down there and check for your amount and everything that I will be using for this jacquard corn recipe now this is how you got to do it in a container you go ahead and add the coconut flakes to it the sugar on top of that flour you also go in and add your salt and then you add your baking powder not soda for sure and after you add that in you go in and you add the nut egg nut egg nut egg right and then you add the ginger powder to it just like so that's all you want to go in and add and you're just going to give it a really good spin spin it up really good and make a good combination all right now goody if you are watching me here cooking for your very 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 first time be sure that you have subscribed already if you have not subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so now then after you do that you make sure to check your notification settings because it's really important to do that turn it in the on position on position so you will be notified every time your girl uploads a brand new video make sure you give your girl that thumbs up and sharing is always caring because it does help the videos right to go up to that youtube level so make sure you give your girl a thumbs up and let me know down below what you would like to have me cooking next in my kitchen all right now after me done mix up everything together i go in and add the coconut milk and you can in fact add any other milk of your choice just combine it really really well to make sure that everything comes and forms together all right now also goody if you have not subscribed yet to my second channel life as juliana the link for that channel will be listed down below as well all my vegan goodies go over there and subscribe to that channel i have tons of other things that i do upload on that channel life as juliana i have vlogs and story times dollar tree diy and so much more things whatever comes to mind the girl do upload them over there so go ahead and subscribe to that channel and show your girl some love and support all right boo, -boo. Mm -hmm. we got that now when you are making the jackass can and when you start to mix up everything in a container you want to make sure that you have already have your oven preheated because you do want to put this into a preheated oven only so now after you have combined all the mixture together you're going to go ahead and put some of that all-purpose flour on a clean surface and you want to make sure that your hands them nice and clean and we said clean and in a clean kitchen every time straight so make sure that your hands are clean because you are going to be using a lot of them and work they forget this jackass can to, to the point to the core or want it and you do want to go in and have enough flour to form your mixture as you can see here I'm using my fingers a lot gently gently so just go ahead and do that and work that flour into the mixture you want it to come to a nice hold where everything is holding and it's definitely not sticking 
anymore. So just go ahead and do that and you should give this about 10 minutes of kneading time. Just like if you were making bread. Okay, same way, not different. Just go ahead and make sure that it's definitely not sticking to your countertop for sure. If you see where it's sticking, to make the best jackass can donkey can in kitchen, you want to make sure that it's not sticking. If it's sticking, it's not going to come out right. Your jackass can will not have that hard touch that 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 crispy toughness is not going to have that so you want to make sure you had enough flour once you start kneading in to the dough like this okay so after that good 10 minutes or so the final step is before I start to do my formation or if I flatten the dough right up, I go in and make sure that it is nice and smooth. Just like it made a make bulla. I'm gonna list that bulla recipe right here so you'll see how I make Jamaican bulla. But it, that link will be down in the description box as well, right? My love make bulla all the time. Not like some homemade bulla, right? Okay, so all I did was get my rolling pin and smooth out. You want to be sure that you smooth out that dough nice and flat and thin. The thinner you have that thing all smooth out is the better your your arm, your jackass can, or your donkey can, or whatever you want for call it in your kitchen. You want to make sure that you get it nice and thin okay the thinner the better if you make it too thick it's not gonna have that crisp toughness to it so make it nice and flat with a rolling pin like i'm doing here now after i do that it's time to get it into the shape now i did use uh, my my cutter right here to help me to give it the, the slices that I need but you don't have to go this route you can use whatever you have to make your formation but I decided this is what I wanted so this is how I wanted to cut mine and to have them shaped up but you can use little cookie cutters or whatever you want to use but I love it this way I just like to stay um, traditional to the authenticness my mother used to just use knife and cut them however she want but you know now me I use this for cut it and you know, mm, cut, cut it like my cut door but just go ahead and just make it your own do whatever makes you feel comfortable because always remember if that's your kitchen and you do what makes you comfortable comfortable in your kitchen as well as I do when I'm in mine now another friendly rem reminder goodie be sure that your oven is preheated you do not want to put your jackass corn in a oven that is not hot your oven needs to be turned on nice and hot before you actually put these things in the oven now with those pieces we are not going to get it go waste nothing we don't waste our jackass can here so what I do with those pieces I go back in and roll it out once again with my rolling pin until it's nice and flat like this Just use my cutter and shape it up just like I did the others before, just like so, because we are not going to waste none of this thing. Not now, I forgot, not now, go waste in my kitchen. This is how I do it so that way I, in fact, use up all the dough. Okay, just put it on the baking tray, and then again, I'm going to do the same thing with the last piece with every little piece this is what I'm doing but I do the last piece a little bit different I do use a rolling pin to flatten it out just like this and then I just shape it up like so just like that and I'm done and put it on the baking tray and we all ready to go now before you go in and put it in your baking container you want to get about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of water and add some oil to it I did use my avocado oil now depending on how much you are making you might want to add more water or more oil but this is the amount this is all that I needed you just want to go in mix it together and just coat the top of your 
blue, I was going to say blue jars. You want to coat them, you know what, I'm going to put that blue jars recipe down below. Because a lot of people always be asking me to make it and I do have two blue jars recipe. Since as we go in authentic here, we're going to add the Jamaican blue jars, authentic blue jars down below. So you'll know how to make that as well. So anyway, you just want to go in and just have that water mixture with the cooking oil and just lay it on top gently, just like I'm doing here. As usual, I'm gonna make this fast, I'm gonna make this easy, I'm gonna make this simple. So I do hope that you are enjoying it. This authentic Jackass Khan Donkey Khan recipe in your kitchen. Now, this is all ready and prepped for the oven. After I pop them out of the oven, I wanna take them out, honey. They are all done and they are going to look exactly like this. You've been asking for quite some time now for make this Jackass Khan, Donkey Khan recipe for you forever and if girl is finally here with your request on their table so I'm hoping I like it now when you get down to it that's what it looks like you see how thin that is it has to be nice and thin and you definitely do not want to start eating it right away the longer you have it sit is the tougher it's going to get and that is what makes it authentic right here you have to allow it to sit and cool for some time so that you can get that right texture from it that's why it's called Jamaican Jackass Khan Donkey Khan right no other way so I do hope that you guys are really really enjoying this recipe because this is one of the recipes that I just had to do for you guys mama used to love to make this this is one of them look authentic thing there from yard years when I was growing up as a kid and I want to share it with you no goody make sure say have strong teeth you know because this jackass can is nothing to play with strong teeth And that good is the sound of some good Jamaican jackass can, donkey can in your kitchen. Fast, easy, and yet simple. Now, share the love with friends and family. Tell them what's going over here. Bring them, come, send them, come. After you don't do that, tell me where you want to see me cook next in my kitchen. And remember, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy! Enjoy!